We live in a country called the United Kingdom. And in our country there's a county called Shropshire. Can you see it on the map? It's coloured in pink. Let's take a closer look at Shropshire. There it is. Right through the middle of Shropshire flows a long and winding river called the River Severn. And along the river there are towns and villages, fields, hills and woodlands. This town is along the river and it's very special. One of the reasons it's special is because it's got its very own teddy bear factory. And just outside that teddy bear factory is a little teddy bear shop. There are lots and lots of teddy bears inside that shop. And one of those teddy bears is about to start out on a great adventure. It's Tedwood. Tedwood's Travels in Shropshire. Tedwood was bored of sitting in the shop waiting for something to happen. So when the nice lady wasn't looking, he plopped down off his shelf and scampered out of the door, out into the big wide world. Tedwood wandered up the street looking for adventure. He passed lots of people, shops and cars. It was quite busy. Quite soon he saw an amazing bridge. The bridge spanned across the river and Tedwood found that he could wander down a path underneath the bridge by the river bank. He found a little boat tied up. Wow, thought Tedward, it's exactly the right size for a little bear. He untied the rope. He gave the boat a push into the water and quickly clambered aboard. He took hold of the oars in his little paws and started rowing. Tedward rowed the little boat along the river for a very long time. He saw all sorts of marvellous sights along the way as the river twisted and turned through the countryside. After several hours of rowing, he came to another bridge. This one looked a bit different to the last. As his little arms had gotten quite tired by now, he decided it was time to leave the river and try some more walking. He tied up the little boat and scrambled up the riverbank into the field. Through the field he went, then another, and then another. Finally, Tedward found a road. The road took him down into a village. Through a gateway, something caught Tedward's eye. He stood and marvelled at the most wonderful building he had ever seen. What is it? he wondered. There were lots of beautiful flowers outside, and he found some writing on the wall, but he didn't know what it meant. He ventured inside through a door. There he met a very nice lady called Miss Moran. Miss Moran was a teacher, and she explained to Tedward that the building was a school where children came to learn. Tedward was very excited about learning, and so Miss Moran asked him if he would like to stay for a week to have lessons along with all the school children in her class. Tedward said that he would, and so that's just what they did. But that's not the end of Tedward's story. That's just the start. He's got lots more adventures to look forward to now. You know, he might even meet you along the way. Here's Miss Moran. She'll tell you a bit more about it. Hello, I'm Miss Moran. I'm Class 3's teacher here at Victon School, and this is our little friend Tedward. 
Tedward has been staying with us at school for the last week and we've had great fun finding out and learning new things. But as you've seen, Tedward is an explorer and he's very keen to go out and see new places and meet new people. The children and I were a bit worried about letting such a little bear go out into such a big world all on his own. So we have come up with an idea to make sure he'll be safe and well looked after. We'd like other primary schools in Shropshire, just like ours, to look after Tedward for one week each. He can come to stay, find out about your area, learn new things and meet new friends. Although we'll be sad to see Tedward leave us, we'll be able to keep in touch by using this website. We'd like to ask the schools that he visits to help him to write in his online diary while he's with them and we'll be able to read about his experiences and make comments that he can see too. Actually, any primary school can join in by visiting his website. You can read his diary, make comments on his experiences or send him an email that will appear on the website. When he can, he'll reply to you too. There's also a map on the website that charts Tedward's route through Shropshire. It's a Google map, so you can zoom in and out, get satellite views and street views, so you can really explore the area that Tedward is visiting. I think that we can learn a lot by following Tedward on his adventure. We've written some ideas in the teacher's notes that you can find on the website, but we're sure that teachers will be able to think of lots of their own ways to use Tedward's adventures in the classroom. Oh, and just one more thing, Tedward must get back to us for our end of term party. It's in July 2014. Thanks for watching and I hope you have lots of fun joining in with the adventure.